All right, guys. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to make these repairs in here. And but before I put these weld these back in place, I've had people say to me, "Are you worried about these bolts coming loose? Uh, you know, on this mount?" Well, I'm not really worried about it because I used lock washers on them, and it's not like this truck is going to be driven on a daily basis. Um, and it's not going to be used or abused in any way. It's not going to be driven over, you know, gravel roads or, or you know, used to haul anything with. It's just going to be driven as basically a, a truck to enjoy time with your, with your family. And, I mean, I got these bolts. You saw how tight I put them in there when I put them in there. So they're not going anywhere. Um, I could, if I wanted to, I could, you know, put a little weld on each one of them, weld the nut to the bolt. But if I do that, then they're basically permanently mounted. And I really don't want to do that. I mean, if someone, if someone had to in the future, they could always, you know, take a hole saw and cut a hole in here and reach in there with a socket and tighten them back up. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't, I mean, there's six bolts holding each, each one of these mounts on. I don't think they're going anywhere. So I think they're going to be fine. So I'm going to leave them alone. Um, I'm going to have faith in my ability to put things together. I think I'll be fine. And one thing I want to show you guys uh, I bought these today, these magnets, you can see them, and I bought them for a different purpose that I'll show you guys later that's a very important purpose, a very, very important reason why I bought these, but you can buy these, at, I bought these at Lowe's, they were like, I think four bucks or five bucks for two of them, and they're pretty heavy ceramic magnets, but I thought, you know, I can use these to put that thing, that piece back in there, so let me show you how to do that before I use them for the other purpose I intended for. All right, so let me get you guys uh, zoomed in here so you can see better. You don't need to see my mug. So let me get you zoomed in here. Uh, let's see, two might be, well, no, I think you're good there. All right, so we got, there's our plate. I've already cleaned it off. I cleaned all the, all the POR off of it, so I'm gonna take these two magnets and this plate, it goes a certain way. So I'll make sure I get it back. It's got a little bit of a bend here that goes on this part of the frame. So I'm gonna put a, a magnet here and I'm gonna stick it on that side. And then I'm gonna take this magnet and stick it on this side. And gotta get this thing lined up. There we go. I need it to pull out just a little bit. All right, that's pretty close to where it needs to be. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I want a gap. I want a bit of a gap all the way around so I can fill the gap in, okay? As you guys can see, there's a gap all the way around on that. And that's basically held in place in the same spot that I took it out, okay? So now I should be able to take my welder and just weld, put a little, some little spot welds on it. Bear wants attention. Of course, he always wants attention when I'm making videos. He ignores me every other time. All right, let me get this, my helmet on here. And uh, we'll start welding. All right, you guys still can see okay? Oh yeah, you got a good view. All right, let's see what happens here. basically start filling in so it doesn't move. There we go. See how nice those magnets work? They hold that right in place. No problem. Alright, we'll get those out of the way. Now we can weld this. And that's the nice thing about having a little gap like that when you cut it with a blade. You can make a nice flat weld when you weld it back together. If 
you notice I'm moving my I'm moving my uh, my stinger back and forth. I'm trying to keep the puddle flowing on the in the in the crack of the weld. these little spots I made with the grinder too. I don't really need to, but once this cools off, once that cools off I can take my grinder and smooth all those welds out and it'll look basically like it didn't even, was never even taken out just like the frame. You know when I did the frame up there you guys saw that. Okay, so there's that side done. All right, now let's flip you over to the other side. Make sure you can see it. Okay. All right, get you down here a little more. There you go. And now this side here, if you remember, the holes were over here. I, I, it doesn't really matter that the holes were over there, but that's where I'm going to put them because that's where they were. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my magnet in that side, and then I magnet in this side. And I want it, again, I want it to be... I want it to sit out here flush so it's in the right spot. I gotta move my magnet till I get it to where it needs to be. Alright, where's my screwdriver? Ah. I'm not I ain't got enough I don't have enough hold on it on this side. This side here's a little trickier because it's curved. There we go, I turn that magnet that way. That'll help. There we go. I'll try to get my gap the same all the way around so I can fill it in with weld really easily. All right, I think that, that looks pretty good. This side, this is in just a little bit, but not really enough I'm gonna worry about it. Ah, uh, come on. Trying to get my gaps all the same. Now my my bottom gap dropped out because I moved this plate. Come on. There we go. All right. Now I'm kind of tight on this side. Ah, dang it. I want my gap to be the same all the way around. I'm trying to get it the same. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. Now let's weld this one up. Okay, here we go. At this point, I can pretty much take these off. It's not going to move. Magnets come in handy for that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's weld her up. Peasy, right? Okay, let's take a look at it. A closer look. As you can see, 
my welds are nice and flat and even you know we're not we're not I mean this is that's a pretty good weld it's not perfect but it's just a frame it's not like some structural high-end piece of something or whatever but once I grind all that down it'll smooth out it'll look great so you guys like the way that looks looks pretty good right here's the other one turned out great as well so I'll take my grinder and my sanding wheel and I'll clean that up It'll look great in case you want to know I didn't show you guys before this particular welder is a 180 pro mig I got my wire speed set at 4 and my heat level voltage set at C right in the middle so there you go I, I like to run things hot but I've welded enough that I can run things hot and I know I'm not going to burn through because I've done it so much so it's no big deal to me all right now let me uh, get a grinder and we'll clean this up and see what it looks like when I'm done these magnets back in the package so I want to save them for what I bought them for and you guys are going to want to watch my videos because this this is a very important these little magnets are a very important thing in what I'm about to do and I'll show you why when I get to it I'll just tell you it has something to do with building the engine okay I'll show you but keep keep tuned and I'll show you what a little trick to help you maybe save your motor. All right, let me grab this grinder, get it over here, and we'll clean these suckers up. See how they look. Gotta get my glasses back on. So again, this is my high-tech $14 Warrior grinder from Harbor Freight, and. These are 36 grit wheels, sanding wheels. It's not a grinding wheel, it's a sanding disc. But they work really, really good for cleaning up metal. If you guys watched me do the front of this frame when I did the cross member, I used the same thing on it. So let's see how it looks when I'm done.
right, there's that one. As you can see, oop, wrong way. There you go. See how nice that looks when I'm done? You can't even see where I made the welds. Looks great. All right, let's do the other one. It's going to be a little more difficult because it's kind of a funky angle. But I'll do the best I can here. I'll just keep, keep you guys in here close where you can see what's going on.
What do you guys think? You like that? Can't even see where I made the weld. That's what I like about having a little eighth inch gap all the way around because when you weld it and you got high heat like I had, it burns the weld into the metal and you get really good penetration and when you grind it, you can grind it smooth and you don't have to worry about your weld breaking out. And even if it did break out in a place or two, I could always come back and you know stitch it back in and then grind it back down again. But them, them turned out great. I'll put a coat of POR on that and you won't even be able to tell that I ever even cut that piece of metal out, which is just the same way as the cross member up front, right? So uh, I don't know why GM made this little shelf, shelf here. That's kind of weird because I know the transmission mount went here, the cross member, and this bolt, this bolt here is pulled, pulled this uh, metal up. This one here is the same way. It's not flat, so it's kind of hard to grind that, but it's close enough. I'm not going to worry about it. I can actually weld these holes shut if I wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, so that's finished up. Looks good. Mounts are in. And uh, anyhow, back out here a little bit. All right, guys. There's a quick video on how to fix that after you cut it out. I personally think that this method is the quickest and easiest method to mount these mounts because you cut that window out you can really reach in there you know if, uh, when I talked to Russ D he said he uses a a two inch hole saw and you know I mean a two inch hole saw is pretty good size but still you got to try to get your fingers in there and you know reach down there and all, all the way to the other side of the frame and try to get them bolt them nuts on there and the washers and all that cutting this window in it like that made it real easy to get to real simple and you know, like I said, I welded it back up. Now, obviously, if you don't have a welder, you can't do that. But you could always cut it out and put these mounts in, and then take it take it to a weld shop. And just, I mean, you, you, this this is literally taking me. You guys have been watching this. I've been doing this for what 20 minutes. So you know, for 50 bucks or 60 bucks, you probably have them weld those plates back, and you can grind them back down yourself. You know, it's pretty simple to do. So, or have a buddy do it if you don't. Buddy's got a welder. Anyhow. And that's already cooled off. I can touch it. So there you go, guys. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.